will use the neutron spectrometer from the Messenger spacecraft during its exploration of Mercury. This device has three detectors. Each detector is made of a scintillator and a photomultiplier tube. The scintillator is a special piece of glass or plastic that uses energy from ionizing radiation to create photons, basically flashes of light. The ionizing radiation in our case is free neutrons. The photons created by this interaction is directed to hit the first stage of a photomultiplier tube. This causes electrons to be released. These electrons then hit the next stage of the photomultiplier, which causes more electrons to be released. These go on to hit more stages, releasing even more electrons for every stage. It's like a chain reaction. In the end, you end up with a strong flow of electrons, which is then used to drive the input of an electronic counter. All from a free few neutrons. This is a relatively simple device as far as operational principle goes. But simply detecting and counting free neutrons is not enough to determine their origin and ignore unrelated neutron's emission coming from elsewhere in space. For this reason, the neutron spectrometer on board the Messenger spacecraft has three detectors. Two of these detectors uses a glass scintillator to capture neutrons. They are most sensitive to thermal and epithermal neutrons. The third detector has a plastic scintillator which is more sensitive to fast neutrons. The two glass detectors face in opposite direction from each other. The plastic detector is at a 90 degree angle relative to the glass pair. Since these detectors are directional, they can only detect neutrons coming from the direction they're facing. This allows us to discriminate between neutrons coming from the planet and neutrons coming from the immediate surrounding, like dust, or even the spacecraft itself. Remember that the spacecraft is also exposed to the neutron-creating cosmic rays. 